Hello, hello. Happy Monday to you. Hope that you had a great Easter yesterday. Uh, I don't know if your day was anything like mine, but Easter was glorious and meaningful and weird, and that's just the way it is. It's, it's just kind of the new normal. It's not normal to me. I don't know if it ever will be, but Easter was, it was sweet. It was meaningful to celebrate the resurrection, especially in weird, dark times, um, but just weird to be at home on your couch in your sweatpants <laughs> while you're doing it. But uh, I wanted to give you a quick little update, actually two updates. It's Monday, and so, you, oh, you get two updates. It's a big day. Here's the first update is that I just got, I guess a, a couple weeks ago, got an official Redeemer email address. So it's becoming more official, people. Um, but here it is. Look, look, look how technologically sa savvy we are over here. Um, Matt at RedeemerMemphis.org. And um, I would, I'm going to ask something of you that might sound strange, but hey, we're in a strange time. Um, if you would be willing to send me at the email address uh, just a quick 10 second video of yourself, introducing yourself. And if you're married, introduce you and your spouse. If you've got kids, bring them in the mix as well. Uh, I got to meet a, a lot of you back in January, uh, but it would be great for me personally, for my wife, from our family, just to begin to have some names and faces, begin to know who you are, how we can be praying for you. So if you're if you're up for sending a, a, just a little introductory video, say hello, introduce yourself, that would be great. At the official email address, uh, there on the screen. So that's update number one. Update number two is um, we've got an official move date. We, we Our house here in Knoxville is under contract, which is big news for us, and we're, we're, we're relieved and elated about that, and we are set to move into Midtown May 10th-ish. I'm going to say ish because we haven't totally locked it in, but that's the date, we're closing May 7th, and so we're, we're hoping to kind of transition a couple days after that. So be on the lookout for a moving truck. I know you can't get anywhere near us as we move in, but we'll be rolling into the neighborhood May 10th-ish. And um, if I can be so bold, I just wanted to share just a quick word with you um, in this little video of just something I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, our church here in Knoxville has kind of pounded this into our brains and our hearts in this season recently. And it's just been a phrase I've been thinking about a lot. It's this phrase that you see all throughout the Psalms. It's this phrase, his love endures forever. His st God's steadfast love endures forever. You see this pop up in Psalm 107. You see it at the beginning of Psalm 118. Psalm 136 is devoted almost exclusively to that phrase, his steadfast love endures forever, his steadfast love endures forever. And if this crazy season has taught us anything, it has taught us that not everything endures forever. Things are a lot more fragile than we want them to be. Uh, March Madness doesn't endure forever. Uh, our economy doesn't endure forever. We're not promised that our very country will endure forever, or even our very lives. In fact, we know that the scripture says our lives are but our just breath. It's just a flash in the pan. Here, and then it's gone. But his love is not fragile. His love is invincible. His, I mean, essentially, this is what we celebrated yesterday. Not even death itself can separate us from the love of God. And uh, it has been good, it has been challenging, it's been uh, necessary for me personally in this crazy season to recalibrate my soul, if you will, to, to learn afresh what it means to plant my feet on the solid ground of His love, this, this reality that, that endures forever, that cannot be taken away. And so the good news that I just want to leave you with in this little video is that you are loved in Jesus with a love that is not fragile, with a love that does endure forever. Sin cannot stop it. Satan cannot hold it back. The coronavirus is no match for it. Death itself cannot stand in the way of the force of his invincible, enduring, aggressive love for those who are in Christ. 
that is good news. Well, that's um, it for me. Um, hope that you are doing well. I hope you have a great week, and the Howells will hopefully see you soon. Peace.